Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now, today I'm going to be taking a question. There's a gentleman called uh, at Mikhail Abildin. So I guess his name is Mikhail Abildin. And so he's asked me a question on Twitter. And you can see the question on the screen. What he's asked is, <laughs> well, this is typical of uh, young men. He wants to know how to make a lot of money. You know, typically he wants to make millions uh, in a year or two, he says. Now, I'm going to teach you, Mikhail, and others watching how to make money because uh, you're based in Nigeria. Um, from my research, I found out you're based in Nigeria. And so this is going to be specific to Africa and um, other areas of the world, maybe like Southeast Asia. Um, you could probably do it in America, but then the opportunities are more boundless in Africa and then Southeast Asia and Latin America. Now, I've been to all parts of Africa, so I understand the unique challenges and the unique opportunities in Africa. Now, Africa imports something like almost $60 billion worth of food every year. I'm going to say that again. Africa imports almost $50 billion worth of food every year. So there's a very, very high demand for food, especially protein. So there's a very high demand for protein. Now, what a lot of people in Africa do, and you know, I've been to every part of Africa, so I know what I'm talking about. You see young people with iPhones, and then they say they are unemployed. Young people with iPhones, sometimes it's the latest iPhone, like the iPhone 14. So you can actually turn $1,000 into $10,000 in the space of a year. You know, in the space of a year, you can actually do that. So basically, if you have $1,000, what you can do, you can go into agriculture. And specifically, you know, you can go into, I mean, you can go into several types of agri agriculture, but I'm going to give you what I researched. And so you can go into, into poultry farming, into poultry farming. So for instance, in Nigeria right now, you have broilers, broilers. Broilers are, you know, just very, very common. You know, that is the common, uh, commonest type of chicken that people eat in Nigeria and all over Africa, especially Sub-Saharan Africa. And you can get day-old hatchlings, day-old hatchlings for about 350 naira. So in case you want to know how to buy them or where to buy them, you know, I'm going to put up on the screen my research. This is based in Abuja, but you can get them also in Lagos. You can get them in other parts of Nigeria. You know? And this is not just country specific to Nigeria. So if you live in Kenya, if you live in Kibera, if you live in Ghana, if you live in Tanzania, it's something that you can also do. So let's assume you have $1,000. So with the current exchange rate, that's going to be about 750,000 Naira. So with 100,000 Naira, you can actually buy just that 100,000 Naira, you can buy 300 hatchlings, 300 day old uh, chicks. So they, I think they don't call them hatchlings, hatchlings are for fish, but they call them day old chicks, 300 of those. So you have 300 day old chicks. Now, they're going to need at least 42 bags of 25 kg feed for their six to, uh, yeah, six weeks. You know, because like some people sell them at five weeks, but they are really not mature until about six weeks. So for the six weeks, they're going to need 42 bags, 42 bags of a 25 kg feed. And each bag sells for 9,800 Naira, 9,800 Naira. So you're looking at 42 bags, so that's about 400,000 Naira. Now what people do, a lot of people just build a hen coop in the back of their house. But if you live in a residential area, it's gonna be like a bit of a challenge because you know they smell, your neighbors might not be happy. So what professionals do is that they don't buy land because it's just for six weeks. It's just for six weeks. So what they do is that they rent land on a farm. And you can do that, you know, there are bunches of, I mean, there are farms all over Abuja, all over, all, I mean, any town, city, or village in Nigeria, you got farms. So you don't have to buy farmland. You can just rent farmland. So you can rent farmland for, I think the current going rate is about 100,000 in a place like Abuja for a month. You know, so, I mean, if you live in maybe a place like Oweri, if you live in the north, it's far cheaper in the north of Nigeria. Same thing with, uh, with Kenya. If you live in Kibera in Kenya, it's going to be a bit more expensive than if you live in the hinter areas. But let's focus on Nigeria. So you want to budget about 100,000 Naira to rent a farmland, and then you want to build a small chicken coop. And to build a chicken coop, it costs about 80,000 Naira. So you want to build a chicken coop for about 80,000 Naira, so you want to raise those... Uh, 300 broilers there. So you have 100,000 Naira for the broilers. You got 400,000 Naira to feed them to maturity uh, for eight weeks where you can sell. And then you've got 100,000 Naira to rent uh, a space. And then you got about 80,000, let's say 100,000 Naira to build a coop. So that's all together. You're looking at something like maybe 700,000 Naira, right? So 
the chicks, you know, they're gonna be they they're gonna need to be immunized, you know, and some medicals. I, I, it costs about ten thousand naira for the, the the entire three hundred of them. So altogether, you're looking at seven hundred and ten naira. Now, at six weeks, you can actually sell those chicks. You can actually sell them. They're now um, broilers. They're now ready to be eating. You can actually sell them for five thousand naira. That's the going rate for five thousand naira. So if you sell them for five thousand naira. At the end of the day, you're going to get 1.5 million naira. So you're looking at a profit of about 800,000 naira in just six weeks. And so you keep repeating the process. You keep repeating the process. So you sell, you buy more, and then you repeat the process. You sell them. So in a year, you can actually turn $1,000 to $10,000. But here's the thing. Uh, at special occasions like Christmas, Easter, um, Muslim holidays, there are Muslim Eids, the price goes up from 5000 to about 8000 sometimes even 10000 So you're going to make more than $10,000 in a year, but it's just the barest minimum. So that's how you can actually turn $1,000 into $10,000. So don't get your $1,000 and then you're just going to buy an iPhone or a Samsung or a Techno, whatever kind of phone, so you can belong. No, invest, invest, because nobody is going to pull you out of poverty and you have to pull yourself out of poverty so whatever money you have consider your capital and so treat your capital like an egg don't eat your egg you know allow your egg mature allow your egg lay eggs and then eat the eggs that your that your head has laid and then sell some of the rest that's how you make money otherwise you're just going to be in that cycle of poverty you're going to be in that cycle of poverty and you don't want to do that now if you've watched this you know that if you're in kenya you're in tanzania you're in South Africa, you in Cameroon, you can actually do the same thing. I mean, it's just that the exchange rate might be different, but I know that it's going to cost less in Kenya and uh, Ghana and Tanzania. I don't know about Cameroon, you know, I don't know how, how much it's going to cost, but I know it's going to cost less to do this business than it does in Nigeria. Now, if you watch this, you have questions arising from this, put it in the comment section of this video. My staff are going to bring them to me. I'll do my best to respond to each and every category. But you got to remember, I do not have a WhatsApp for that. A telegram channel or a gmail email address so beware of scammers beware of spammers i would never approach you in the comment sections of my videos telling you helpline guideline or offering to help manage your money those are scammers those are spammers everything i do is for free now this when the market apostle of prosperity saying god bless you but when no travels all around the world I hope you get inspired about what you see I was full of greatness, Breno is a master Only one man against the old world in large Fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand That's why Breno is a